Now then, uh, drumming with the Red Hot Chili Peppers and jamming with the Arctic Monkeys is something musicians spend a lifetime dreaming about. But 11-year-old Nandi Bushell can already tick both those off the bucket list. Can you believe it? During lockdown, she also challenged Dave Grohl from the Foo Fighters to a drum battle and impressed him so much with her skills that he invited her to go and perform on stage with them in L.A. last week. Let's have a look. so much lovely to see you both thank you brilliant thank you. stuff <laughs> she, i think get the feeling she can do whatever she wants yeah do you <laughs> absolutely wonderful um carol can look at the weather for us this morning and uh, yeah it's chilly out and about morning Good morning. Uh, welcome to BBC Breakfast. You're watching this morning with Louise Minchin and Dan Walker. Our headlines for you at eight o'clock. And uh, you know, we, we talked a lot about, I suppose, the impact on families. Give us an idea, because you've still got quite a bit of your family living back in Afghanistan, haven't you? I do. Um, I get regular. Interesting talking to you. Thank you very much indeed for your time here on BBC Breakfast. It's really interesting to get your perspective on all of this. Dr. Wahid Aryan, thanks. Thank and you very much. Safe as well. Take care of them. You are watching BBC Breakfast. It's Tuesday morning. Still. I will have that shortly for you, uh, but right now the time is 8.28. Talk about challenges. Uh, anyone who's done it will know that climbing Snowden can be a bit of a challenge for anyone. But what if you had to... Talk about challenges. Uh, anyone who's done it will know that climbing Snowden can be a bit of a challenge for anyone. But what if you had to... Good morning, morning to you. Morning. It looked magnificent. It was. It was a nice day. It was. Oh, it looks absolutely fabulous. Nice um, day at the top or nice day on the way up? <laughs> nice, the sun was out. It's not so nice no, up there. Yeah. So um, tell us, I mean, it, it's, a, it's a big challenge, isn't it? Was, it was, yeah, So why challenge. decide to do it like that? Uh, well, I just... I, I it could be what was it like? Yeah. I mean, you know, I know you've been up Snowden yeah. before, but you sort of think you've made it, don't you? And then yeah. there's those last little you steps do, yeah. at the top. Yeah, it was. It was like going them steps as well, because you just got to start like... Well, and also, I mean, you know, the hard going, and there's, there's quite steep edges, I always think. It was, yeah, there was as well, yeah, a bit... Not too keen on edges. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you've been sort of very matter-of-fact about it, yeah. but you know it's, yeah. a, it's a huge challenge. It was a huge challenge. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I, it I was know you're challenge. aware of that. Yeah. So what? It, what was it that kept you going? Cafe open. It was. Yeah. So I got some, <laughs> water, <laughs> got some water on the, on the cafe. Really important and questions. Yeah. Take take us back to what happened to you because it was in the, the 1990s. You got a spinal injury. Yeah, yeah. I had a.